I believe that is Aaron Rodgers yep. there. Mm -hmm. Now, when the news broke on the internet yesterday that uh, from the New York Times that RFK Jr. had Aaron Rodgers as one of the finalists for his potential uh, vice president in his independent presidential run that is currently taking place, obviously the world... Oh, yeah. Exploded. I, the yeah. world, uh, you know, what? Tom Pellicero was the one that was able to break the news in the football world, so this entire thing went. Aaron Rodgers and Jesse DeBody Ventura, who is a uh, former WWE wrestler and also governor of Minnesota. Correct. I do believe, who has always been a very independent mind thinker and uh, very free to speak about however the hell he feels. Very, I think a lot of people would say he has courage to say things. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, a lot of other people don't say is how that is whole thing is wrapped. Just like Aaron Rodgers, if you could see yeah. what RFK Jr. is kind of looking for here. And uh, boy, I I did not expect this one. You nope. know, I had no idea this one was going to happen. And I start thinking back. You can see how RFK Jr. maybe Aaron really ruffled some feathers mm -hmm. yeah. in the politics world. Yeah, we happen to be in the middle of that. Yep. Sure. Uh -huh. And I didn't necessarily love the feathers that were ruffled because I had to be in the middle of the storm, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the middle mm -hmm. of the absolute storm. Uh, but hey, listen. Aaron Rodgers, friend of the program, friend of ours. This is how he feels. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks in the history of football. This is how he feels. You're learning that's journalism. Okay? Yeah, journalism. You're learning about this particular person. Uh, so I reached out to a uh, source. Says. Says, from my understanding, there is a chance that um, said person that is potential future vice president for an independent president, if that was ever to happen, first time ever in the history of the United States of America, never really got more than, like I think, 4% vote or something. Correct. Like mm-hmm. If it happens, though, yeah. I, I've done a lot of quick research here over the last day. I'm sure there's people that know a lot more. Um, that man, the world found out while that man was in Costa Rica, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that vice president. Yeah. So whenever that picture is posted, Jordan Boyer, Aaron Rodgers, we can allude now from our source, down in Costa Rica right now. Correct. What are they doing in Costa Rica? We assume there's a chance they're going to take a visit to the blind God. Exactly. That's right. Getting ready to Grandmother. sit with the medicine. They are ready to sit with the medicine. Yep. And they said you don't necessarily have to go attic and basement if you prepare for this entire thing. Nice. And to be honest, I had no idea. I, thank you for Jordan Poirier for documenting this. That is a much nicer setup than I was expecting whenever I heard these stories of the ayahuasca usage down in Costa Rica. Because they're talking about being a TP and all mm -hmm. this stuff. And I'm like, well, I'm never doing that. And I've seen other people do videos and it's like... You're walking through mud, like you're sleeping on, like... Jungle. Seems like a very nice setup down there for mm -hmm. them. Feels like these, the people that go down there, everybody that does it seemingly comes back on the other side of it, feeling like a better person, feeling better about themselves. I think they're all seeking something whenever they choose to go to Costa Rica to do this. And I think that's why anytime I hear somebody has done it, I'm like, I'm happy that you went and found something that makes you happy or fulfilled inside of that. I'm not 100% sure, though, that the quarterback for the New York Jets necessarily knew that the New York Times was going to be reporting sure. that he was potentially going to be okay. vice president. I didn't get many follow-up questions in there, uh, I, you know, because yep. in the middle of something. But I'm not 100% sure there was a uh, a full rollout plan uh, in because he would not be in Costa Rica, you would think. Mm. You would think. Now, Jets fans read that. Boy. And they go, well, <laughs> we, just, like quarterback. we just kicked an entire season. Yeah. Yep. Four plays into our season, it ended, and then we were just like, next year will be better because he's going to play more than four plays. I would assume Oof. that Aaron's going to be a quarterback for the Jets and play great football. Mm -hmm. I would assume that this vice president thing potentially was a part of a conversation that took place, and people in the know mm -hmm. at the time of course. heard it and said, hey, this is being discussed, especially because RFK Jr. is going as an independent, so there's a lot of people that potentially would try to be ruining it. You know, like there is, oh, yeah. not ruining, but you get it. That's political. Mm -hmm. That's how the whole thing goes. So I do wonder, and we will try to get the answer from Aaron in the in where his mindset is, mm -hmm. but I'm not 100% sure this is, uh, this is, from my perspective, mm -hmm. from the things that I know, that this is anywhere near a reality. No. Now. Bummer. That's a huge bummer. I am bummed out. Yeah, that I am bummed out about that. Just because the way that would have been covered and the stories that that would have... And maybe he does. I have no idea. This is, once again, I have not gotten any answers or asked. A.J. Hawk, who will be joining us in the next hour, he might have more, to be honest, mm -hmm. yeah. in this entire yeah. thing. Really but this does not feel like a potential reality. What sure. feels like a reality is that... You know, he is currently doing his reg – this is a very standard Aaron Rodgers offseason. And then I assume OTAs are back. Like, everything that was being built up for last year's Jets team in that feeling that he – because if you remember the way he was talking about how happy he was to be back in the building and loving football again and everything like that and the, him jogging out on September 11th with that flag, which RFK Jr. is probably like, that's all he does. Anybody else have that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, the whole thing. Like, that feeling that he had – 
I think he is going to be searching for that feeling again with mm -hmm. the New York Jets this season. And I think he's going to be a guy who wants to do exactly why he wanted to go to New York, which is bring a winner there. Because if you bring a winner to the New York Jets, King. Yeah, forever. Forever in that thing. Like, he knows that. That team knows that. I think, like, he's going to try to do that. So this whole thing, I think Michael Cole sent me a text. <laughs> so pumped. He sent me, I guess there's uh, images now of Kamala Harris's head on Aaron Rodgers' body mm. with a Jets uniform like on. That. He goes, this is my life now? What do we do? This is your friend. That's what he is. <laughs> your friend. What are we even... Guy's going to... Guy's got a heartbeat away from running the free world. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. The guy's supposed to just throw... We just want 35 touchdowns next year. Yeah. That's all we're looking for in this entire thing. Ryder Cup winner. The all-time leading tackler for the Green Bay Packers. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of future vice president <laughs> of the United States... Can you wait till I intro you? Come on, AJ Hawk, AJ Hawk. You better be hungry. How are you doing? Okay. What's, is everything okay? I, I don't know. What, what's going on, man? Are you well, two going to be, be the next, uh, Are you two captain? Who's going to be the next VP? I don't know. Yeah, uh, you better uh, promise me a spot. Tom Pelissero reported via New York Times reporting that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has recently approached Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers and Jesse Body Ventura about serving as his running mate on an independent presidential campaign uh, and both have welcomed the arbiters and we did see a photo from last week or a couple weeks ago where Aaron and RFK Jr. got high together <laughs> not talking about drugs we're talking about hiking a mountain with a bunch of dogs I assume maybe a, a conversation or two happened while they're out in the wilderness trying to avoid mountain lions and such over there in California um, AJ I, I reached out to one of the persons involved in the story and uh, I was told in Costa Rica, just start getting a bunch of text messages mm -hmm. out of nowhere. I, I'm not 100% sure he, Aaron, maybe knew that this news was going to get announced on this particular day, uh, but I did not do any follow up or get any more information from that. I assume you know more. When did he tell you he was going to be vice president mm -hmm. of the United States of America? And what were your follow ups to that entire situation whenever you found out, which we assume months ago AJ knew about? Of course. This. No, I, I had no idea. And if he did actually tell me that he was going to, you know, thinking about making a run for the VP, I probably would not even have any follow-up. So I'd say, okay, yep, sounds about right for, you know, what you've been doing. <laughs> what you've been doing. It's not like a, it's not a, it's not a, a bad thing. I'm just saying like what, nothing would surprise me right now. Yeah, I think, I think we all kind of feel the same way. Like uh -huh. when we read it, we go, of course, sure. of course. It'd be sweet if he did it both though. Why not do it? Do it while you're leading the Jets back to victory. That'd be pretty cool. Well, that's the thing. The Jets fans all see this and they go got focus on ball but we got four plays last year that's what they're all <laughs> yeah. we got four plays last year they were told to punt the entire season remember mm -hmm. joe douglas really didn't do much solid didn't really do much they were trying they're trying their best but yeah. you know the whole season was basically like yeah you're gonna have to wait till next year all those happiness and emotions and feelings you're having coming into this year for the first year with a real chance need you to bottle that okay yep put that bottle into the fridge mm -hmm. let that thing get Ice cold. cold, and then go ahead and grab it for next season because we're punting on this one. And then all of a sudden, they're reading, hey, guys going to run for vice president of the United States of America. <laughs> what? what we? I thought we were going to do this entire thing. In your eyes, and I let off the show saying, like, I have no information. I do. I've not been told. This doesn't seem like a reality, but maybe. Is that how you feel as well? I mean, it does not feel like a reality at all. But. They never said anything that Aaron said. He said he would he what he welcomed the overture. Yeah. So I think what they're yeah, really, it, go if ahead. they want me to be a VP, I'll say, Yeah, it sounds good, man. Give me a text, give me a call, let's see it. Whatever, whatever happens. That's how you're saying? That's that's what I'm saying. It, it could have gone. Hey, what if I picked you to run for my VP? Okay, cool, man. Yeah, let me know. That'd be crazy. Cool, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hit me up, man. It welcomed overtures. I guess the opposite of that would be stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Don't you even no. Yeah, the way it was phrased is interesting. We'll try to find yeah. out. We will try to find yeah. out. Yeah. And if it's not us, it'll be somebody. But, like, obviously this is just another uh, – Jets fans, this is what it's like. Yeah. You know, everything Aaron does, every conversation he has on a hike mm -hmm. is going to get – it's going to get – and it's going to get blown out of proportion. And Aaron is literally in a jungle somewhere mm -hmm. and has no – like, that is – that's how this goes from my understanding with Aaron over the last four years. You probably know a little bit more. I mean, you're not saying that's like a, a great rollout for announcing your VP candidate if he doesn't even know and he's in another country? <laughs> All right. What? All right, AJ. Can't take anything serious that you say. And when AJ's I doing am. this, he I'm knows more information. Know exactly. Know this is him deflecting. The worst. We will continue to try to pepper him. Could be started if there's a C at the Oval Office, which mm. is a strip club in <laughs> yep. Green Bay. I was actually correct? thinking of the timeline, though, because the election's not till November, and then the inauguration's not till the new year, right? Or after the January. Polls, yeah. It'll be playoffs. 
So he should be good, right? There's the Oval Office in Green Bay. That, Is that uh, in D.C.? Or? No, that's not the actual. That's not the one. Really? That's not the one sure? no, I don't know. Inside the White House. Is that the White House? The yeah. replica? <laughs> Uh, no, I think that is the adult ballet. Is it two stories, AJ? You've been in there. What, what, up top well, is the boom, boom room. Look up, look I'm not, uh, I honestly have not been inside. This. Oh, I uh, okay. So this the upstairs. What, what happens to the upstairs? Second, second floor getting I shoulder think that's, rubs. Uh, uh, I think that is there are like faux windows. I don't know if there is like an upstairs. Yeah, oh, you know it's just this. high. So we got we got from high. the sky. Look up in the sky, spicy cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. And she catches herself <laughs> with the thighs. That's going on Oval Office. I think so. It might be. You know, yeah. you know, it's nice. Did you see the grass and the shrubbery and the landscaping around the Oval Office? Where? I did. It's, I looked at the very, sidewalk. I was going to say the concrete on the sidewalk. It's was very, artsy. Beautiful. very well managed. Much I would, you should definitely go there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's actually should, an exact replica of the original White House before the uh, Brits burned it down in the War of 1812. No, I actually think no. that that exact replica is actually down in the Florida Keys. Oh, they moved it. <laughs> Picked it up what? with a helicopter. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is the exact replica. Yeah, that's is the that, office. There. Is that the... Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, that's where the president what are we sits. Talking? That's where the president sits in the back there. You're mm -hmm. right, Nick. I was wrong there. This is the exact replica of the yeah. Oval Office. Is that Lincoln on the wall? Yeah, I think Elvis Presley yep. met down here with the president at the bottom. Yep. They talked mm -hmm. about peanut M&Ms. Mm -hmm. yep. You got that big table because you got a lot, of, a lot of shit to talk about. Oh, yeah. Well, they say about two days in, the whole thing's filled with papers. Yep. Yeah. The amount of shit you got to do. That's why you age like a what president. What the hell is that? What is that? That's, that's the, the Oval Office. The Oval Office. That's what are the, the little like sits. cocktail tables in between those the you know the stuff on the outside? What is that? Well, they get, they get, they're computers, mm -hmm. laptops. So the cabinet sits around the big Working table, space. and then all the assistants and stuff like that sit at the cocktail table. A lot of delegates. Yeah, Biden almost died in there. Yeah. Actually, well, he was at the kids' table, table oh. and he, he has Slicky back will love yeah. this room. Who? Slicky will. No, he Bill Slicky owns will. this. Was the this is what he designed? Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's Slick. an honor to look inside a, a place that has obviously affected so many things. Yeah, what's a bummer is that you can't see the top because I believe Lewinsky's jersey is <laughs> hanging up They're in rafters. the rafters. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Performance in there that people say Heron still Ro talk about. Uh -huh. Row. Shout out to the Oval Office getting things done in there. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's Shout out. I would, that happened. I, I would assume that even the most frequent visitors of that particular Oval Office had no idea that that's what it looked like. No. <laughs> no. no. Who would have? Wait, hold on. During the day. Oh, that's how? There's a lot of lights on. And I'm in there. Is that, a, is, that a, is that a portrait of Lincoln on the... the hell is the, that doing? The, the walls are white? I have never seen that. I've been there for the last 22 weeks. <laughs> I was there last night. <laughs> What's that? Same place. Same thing, but at night. Now we're talking. Oh, so, is that yeah. George W? Is that, George w? <laughs> that is W. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, geez, Louise. Yeah, second second floor getting shoulder rubs. That mm -hmm. is happening. At the, well, at the Oval Office. But they still got the, you know, still got the chance to drop from three floors. Yep. Yeah. It's a nice looking establishment. How it far is, is this yeah. from Appleton? That's about 30 fun. minutes. It, this is right oh. in Green Bay. Oh, we stayed nice. in Appleton. Yeah. We went yeah. out there because you guys didn't have enough hotels because the only buildings that are able to be hotels are actually strip clubs like the Oval Office. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's good. I think the Oval was the only one, honestly. I really do. Oh, so it's like... In Green Bay. Oh, yeah. that place must be passed out. <laughs>